Hi, I'm Michael Newrock from Trend Profiteer. I'm just about to take a Bitcoin trade. That's BTC USD. There's been a couple of alerts, including the one that's just occurred. I haven't taken it yet. My alerts come up on the screen to say, would I like to take the trade? Yes or no. So I'm going to click yes. Um, now, if it's fully automated on autonomous mode, you don't even have to do that. But I do like running it on semi automatic mode, which means I get that final say. Um, all right, it's given me a warning um, saying that the one of the take profits is beyond zero. That's okay, this is a short. Um, so um, uh, my profits will, will be locked in as I hit my profit locking targets and then followed with my trailing uh, methodology that I have installed. Uh, so everything is set up. I'll pause now, see you soon. Okay, so Target one for profit locking has uh, just a smidgen away from happening. And uh, I am contemplating whether to adjust my profit locking uh, targets. That would mean that I'd, it would be immediately locked in. And the reason is because this trade actually went against me. And you can see this uh, this up move. I came close to, to, to getting knocked out on this one, but that's trading. Um, you uh, you need to be careful and uh, you know at the same time you need to take risks to generate that reward so my stop is um, is still there I'm just wondering whether I should or not uh, but uh, as you can see we're really well in profit now so uh, so the trade is looking good and I think that the uh, price will continue to move downward that's what I am um, trading I'm looking at uh, Bitcoin going down as low as possible that's just the name of the game and uh, you know that's just trading so see you soon okay so price has broken through profit lock target one that's always fantastic my uh, both parts of my trade are now uh, locked in the stops have been moved so I have guaranteed profits in place for this trade the only question now is um, how low will it go? I can take my money now and close the trade, uh, but it's a good idea, in my opinion, to uh, you know see how long the trade will go because sometimes it goes a lot further than you think it it will. That's the whole idea, right? Especially with trend trading, I'm um, I'm looking at, at big trades, and that's what crypto is great at. Right now, it's going down, so I'm all in. I'm looking for for uh, for sell trades, short trades. Uh, so um, let's see how far this will go. Okay, so price is moving nicely. It's around 34,000. Uh, I got in at uh, around 38,000, just above 38,000. And uh, it has been a bit of a roller coaster ride, as you can see. Um, we, you know, we went up, down, up, down. So how far is this trade going to go? I'm a little nervous about it which is a good thing in trading you want to always be watching your back right um so i'm gonna uh, open my settings up and go to the profit locking section of the uh, expert advisor this is where i can adjust my um my profit locks so i'm going to make the second move a little bit smaller so change that from uh, 600,000 to 500,000. And I'll do that on both the main part of the trade and the split trade. And um, I'll also, I'll also start the trailing a little bit sooner. So I'll change that from 900,000 to 700,000. Um, I like to do uh, both parts of the trade at the same point, but you don't have to, you can do it any any way that that uh, that is appropriate and then you can see there my profit lock targets have moved and uh, this the next target is really really close so uh, let's hope it um, it goes well uh, you can you can be as skilled as possible but it's always good to have a bit of luck okay I'm back okay price is smidgen away from um, from profit lock two that's when my stops will be moved again for both parts of my trade uh, it is so close now again I'm tempted to modify my um, my uh, profit lock targets but 
I'm going to keep it as is for now. This trade's been performing great. Uh, overall direction is still down. Five out of six indicators on the higher time frames are still pointing down. So uh, I'm going to uh, watch this carefully and, um, and uh, let it ride. We'll see you soon. Okay, so profit lock target two has been hit. Uh, that means my stops have been moved again and uh, more profits have been locked in on this trade, which is always a great thing because at the end of the day, it's all about turning that equity into capital. You're always taking a little bite here, taking a chump there. Uh, so uh, right now I'm in a good place. Uh, the pressure is totally gone. Um, I'm looking at just managing and watching this trade and uh, you know, seeing how, how far it can go. I know a lot of people are really upset at the moment because Bitcoin is crashing according to the news. But you know, I, I was in this trade before the news came out and that's what it's all about, being able to, 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 to get in. You can see my stops uh, are locked in now. So even if it moves against me at this point, I'm okay with that. My profits are locked in. Always have the courage to lock in profits uh, because I've I've seen everything uh, in this game, well, almost everything. And um, let me tell you, anything, almost anything can happen. So always a good idea to lock in profits as you go. My third target is still, a, still in play. Um, both my trades are still open. So let's go. Holy moly, target three my, for my profit locking has been hit uh, at uh, 31,484. Uh, that's just a fantastic trade. It started, uh, well, I entered the trade at around uh, 39,450, taking it down to 31,484. We're talking about almost um, 700,000 pips. It's a massive, massive amount. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, 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 it's just a great trade to be able to enter it around the 38,000 mark and uh, ride it all the way down to 31,000. Uh, people are crying and, you know, Bitcoin's fallen 7,000, but I'm laughing because I've just made a heap of pips and uh, with pips, of course, comes uh, the money, but only if you lock in your profits and uh, convert that into capital into your account. So fantastic trade, um, profit lock target three has been hit. Both my trades are, are locked in for even more profit. Uh, so um, this is turning out to be a great trade. Okay, so uh, price is sitting at around that 31 and a half thousand. Um, what I've done is I've, uh, I've moved my stops uh, because the drop was so dramatic uh, and so so significant, I've decided to to lock in even more profits. Uh, so my first stop is around thirty one eight, and um, my second stop is there at thirty three uh, nine or thereabouts. So that's great. Um, I, I've I've got both those stops in place for both parts of my trade. Um, my trade management is going to take over from this point and now I can just sit back and, um, you know, stop uh, intervening slash meddling um, with my trade. Normally you don't need to do anything, but it does help to, uh, you know, to watch your trades and make intelligent decisions from time to time. Uh, and that's what I've done on this trade with moving my profit lock targets. Super happy. Uh, fantastic trade, three targets already hit. Let's see how we go. Okay, so the trade is moving nicely. Uh, price is around 29,000, but my stop is around 34,000. This is the second part of my trade. The first part I already took profits, uh, but what I'd like to do is tighten the stop a little more. Now, by default, it works on the um, on the PSAR, the parabolic SAR. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to change it to move on the moving average and 
normally the split runs on the 21 MA uh, and the first part of the trade goes on the 7 MA, but I'm going to change that split trade to the uh, 7 MA uh, just to make it a bit tighter and change the split trail from um, the uh, parabolic star to the moving average. I'll click OK. And there you go. So stop has been moved and will now continue to trail price using the 7MA uh, as a trail. So just bringing it down. We got it in around 38,000 or just a little above. And currently the stop is at 32,000. Price is at 29,000. So at any time I can, I can tap out now and... Uh, and take the profits from that trade. But I'm going to uh, trail as long as I can because some of these trades can go for a lot longer than expected. All right, I'm gonna pause now and uh, be back soon. Okay, another day and uh, new candle has opened on the daily chart. My stop has now moved um, in accordance with the uh, 7 MA or the moving average and you can see here that uh, you know, it went down as low as 25,000 uh, I could have tapped out at that point um, but I've decided to hold which is typically what I do with most trades uh, and you can see here the uh, stop is on 30,000 or 31,000. I got in at around 38 and a half. So that's a really, really nice profit. Whatever happens at this point, uh, I've made money. So now I'm just wanting to see how, um, how much money I can make, how many pips are possible from this trade. It may retrace or it may continue to go down. Um, that's what we're uh, trading and, um, and, uh, I'm hoping for the best. It's still in a downward trend, so let's wait and see. Okay, so I thought I'd come back. This is the same day, but I just wanted to uh, show you the type of money that can be made. So you can see here, my first trade was taken out at around 32,000. Uh, I've put it onto the chart, so um, so you can see the, the entry and the... Uh, the close of that particular trade and um, let's have a look we made about four thousand dollars on the first part of the trade that was on a on a 0.4 lot and currently the 0.6 lot is um, is on 5,900 or just over 5,900 and trailing nicely so all up uh, there's some great profits that I've made on this trade already uh, let's see how we go All right, so we've had a, uh, a bit of a price retracement. Both my trades are now out. Uh, so I'll just show you how much was made on that trade and how you can make money too using the Trend Profiteer system. So you can see the first part of my trade was taken out at that point. And I'm just going to open up my uh, trade history. Okay, so you can see there first part of my trade uh, was uh, what $2,593.94 profit and um, it's a little less than the 4,000 I mentioned in a, a, an earlier part of the video and the second part of my trade was the 0.6 slots uh, and that closed at $4,525 so what are we looking at about $7,000 between the two trades um, it, it wasn't a, a massive trade, but it was certainly big enough to make some really good money. And that's using pretty reasonable lot sizes. Now, admittedly, you would need a, a, a decent capital to be able to handle these kind of lots. But even if you um, went in on um, like 0.1 of a lot in total, so um, you can split those up and um, you'd, you'd make around 10% of this. So um, whether it's 8,000 or 800, it's still a damn good, uh, a, a, a damn good return on um, work that didn't, you know, wasn't really work. So as you can see, got in around 38 and a half thousand, price went down to around 25,000. Um, 
you know, the, there was a lot of news about this particular event. So you can see here that I closed at around that 31, 30, 31 32,000. And I've got both my trades uh, on the chart here so you can see them a little bit closer. This is the four hour chart. And this is what I will often do after a trade is finished is uh, I normally trade on the daily, but that's not saying that you can't trade on the four hour or the one hour or even the 15 minute. But um, it's important to not rush back into the trade because sometimes those retracements take a little longer than um, or go a little further than you would expect. But certainly I'm going to stalk this trade and see how we go. It is still in a downward trend and I'm going to sell while price is going down and buy while price is going up. That's the whole idea. Uh, so that's it for this trade. Good trading, live well, and I'll see you soon.